Well, whatever the reason, I'm very glad that you and Rex connected. Well, he may not come back. That thing in Kentucky, that turned out to be a dead end. Oh, no sick friend, huh? Well, there was somebody in the hospital, all right, but they were healthy enough to get discharged, and I have not heard from Kimberly since. So sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. I mean, it was good to see Kimberly, but it's not like I'm in any position to start things up again. It isn't as if she could move in here, is it? <laughs> this is house arrest. Uh... Somehow I don't see the judge being too thrilled with that idea. <laughs> either. Okay, either. Oh, Claire, honestly, is that how you want to spend your time? No, Vicky. I want to sit in front of the fire in a rocking chair and start whittling and drooling on myself and giving out peppermint candies to the grandkids. Now, come on, Vicky. Don't you want to spend your time with someone? Actually... I'm okay with my life right now. You are no more ready for the rocker than I am. It's time that you got out there again. Got out there again? You've had a while to get over Charlie. Time to get back on the horse. You're taking Clint's money? Yeah, I really miss that house. Miss the horses. Wait, what happened to clean living and all you know they had a moat? And... A moat, like a real moat around the house. Do you not yeah, break that? Alligators in it, crocodiles, sharks. I could seriously no. put small sharks in what there, happened? not big ones. She dumped me. That's what happened. All right, because of you. What? What are you talking about? She found out that I didn't give the gun to the cops, so she poured a beer in my face and dumped me. That sucks. But it isn't my fault. I. She doesn't know that I gave you the gun. She thought that I was using it to blackmail Rex's crazy mothers. So, I figure, if that's what she thinks, why not? Um, I could tell her you didn't keep the gun. There will always be a long con, won't there? Something for a rainy day. And I'll get suspicious and I'll go crazy on you and you'll just be looking at me with that face like, how can you even ask? Don't you trust me? Don't you? I really wish I could. Forget it. Aubrey's right, I'm a con artist through and through. I was only going straight for her, now I don't have her. So I think it's time that I embrace the real me. Why would Cutter want to blackmail Echo or Roxy? Because they're the ones who put the gun inside Morris. And Cutter saw them do this? No, but they were both at the flea market and they were arguing about something, then he gets the porcupine home and there's a gun inside? This is unusual. Unless you think that Roxy or Echo killed Victor Lord. But everybody knows that Rex blamed Jack Manning for Gigi's death and hated Victor Lord for getting him off. It's not a big leap, Commissioner. Those women hid the gun to protect their son. Because they knew Rex killed Victor Lord. Hey. Look at me. You swear you didn't kill Victor Lord. Maybe I did. No. That's not gonna work. Why not? It was my gun, we all know I hated Victor, I wanted the guy dead. You just said you didn't shoot he him. He didn't! I know why he's saying it, but it's not gonna help. You didn't kill Victor Lord. No, I didn't kill him. So like I said before, if Rex didn't shoot him, then who did? You're full of it, Wheezy. You had a gun on me, but you didn't shoot. I wanted you dead. But but what? But I, I wanted to talk to you. Oh, Bull, none of this happened. So that's what you think? Hell yeah. If you pointed a gun at me, why am I not dead? Why am I not buried next to my dad? You really don't remember? Holy crap. So many people come through here every day. The gardener, the pool guy, cable guy, mailman, the milkman. I mean, anybody could have taken that gun and killed Victor Lord. Anybody. Roxy, 
No. Well, I'm not gonna say it. Shane. It could have been Shane. You didn't shoot me because you shot my dad instead. You went into the house and killed him. It was you! This isn't good news for you. No, it isn't. And I would have told you sooner, but I honestly thought that Cutter turned the gun in. I knew it was the right thing to do, and he promised me he would do it. Well, thank you for telling me about it. Now, do you, do you have any idea where uh, Cutter put the gun? I don't know. He said he gave it to someone, but I don't believe him. Will you give us the okay to search your house? Sure, I'm staying at the Minuteman right now, but I don't think the gun's gonna be there. I threw Cutter out, and if he had it, he took it with him. Do you know where he is now? gun doesn't matter anymore. Yes, it does. It matters a lot. No, it doesn't, all right? The gun has nothing to do with us now. You stashed it, didn't you? Nice job. Aubrey, Aubrey, I... So you could blackmail Rex Balsam. That's it, isn't it? I'm done with blackmailing. I told you, I'm with you now. We're on the path to righteousness or whatever. I don't know. But you can bet wherever he is, he's working a scam. Cutter, I'm sorry, but don't be a wuss. You can't just give up because you and Aubrey had a fight. Didn't you guys used to fight just for the makeup sex? I mean, come on. She's probably just bored from all that responsibility and stuff. So just go apologize and tell her you won't do it again. No, this is different. Aubrey's different ever since Joey Buchanan. It's over. It's time for me to move on. Right. Why would you stay in Landview? Hmm, why? Well, gee, let's think. There's the mansion, there's controlling interest in an international conglomerate. Those are Clint's things, and he's getting them back. I don't think so. Give me the papers, Ken. They won't do you any good. Everything's signed over to Clint. I can take care of that. Give them over. What if I don't? Then I tell everyone in Landview who your little friend here really is. Oh my God, you're serious. Yeah. Why aren't you back out there, back on the market? Like a cow. No, I mean, Clint, in the first place, I haven't met anyone who's even remotely interesting. <laughs> That's because you haven't been looking. Well, where would you like me to go looking? I mean, what, am I gonna hang out in a bar? Well, there are other places. You could go online and one oh. of those romance websites. Oh, yes, that's really what I want to do. I could sum up everything I'm looking for in a life partner. 50 words or less. Well, you gotta put yourself out there somehow. You spent half your life with a newspaper. I know for a fact you could write a very good ad. Ah, but you were always my best editor, so why don't you write the ad for me? Uh, I'm being serious here now. I know. Vicki, don't you want to curl up in front of the fire with someone? What would I say to that someone? Oh, don't pay any attention to the man with the ankle bracelet. He's just my felonious ex-husband who lives with me. It's a big place. I could make myself scarce. Oh, why are you pushing this? Why aren't you pushing it? Is there some reason that you don't want to meet somebody new? I told you, I am, I'm fine with the way things are now. Me too. That is, between us. Yeah, I, mean, I got that. Even if Cord doesn't agree. No. Uh, you know, I love Cord, but he's wrong. <laughs> She's kind of delusional. <laughs> yeah, I told him that. I didn't use that word, but... Uh, well, it really doesn't matter what Cord thinks, does it? No, it sure doesn't. However, I'm going to thank him. Because I haven't had a good laugh like this in ages. <laughs> Not that funny. You killed my father. You killed my mom. She's dead because of you. So why shouldn't you lose your father? It's only fair, right? You think that you just be able to do whatever you want and never have to pay? Is that it, Jack? I told you a million times. I didn't do anything to your mom. I did not kill her. Rex, Shane, you're talking Shane? That is crazy talk. That is crazy I talk. I think we have to consider no, no, that. No, like hell. 
You don't even know the kid. He doesn't have a mean bone in his body. He couldn't kill anybody. You are so new on the scene. You don't even know. Rex? I knew him too. The kid I knew couldn't end up on the roof of a school bright ready to jump. He's just been through so much. No, he's different. Ever since Gigi, ever since Jack walked away from what he'd done. Even more now since Victor's murder. What do you mean? <sighs> Shane's been wanting to, to, to say something, but he, he wouldn't come out and tell me. <sighs> he's been talking about Jack and Victor a lot. Yeah, we've all been talking about Victor. No, no, this was different. Rex. I, I should have got it out of him. I should have I gone to a shrink. Rex, I stop. No. None of that matters now. What matters, listen to me, is that we find Shane. If he does have that gun, where do you think he might have gone with it? Finish the job? What does that mean? Maybe he took the gun to go out and find Jack Manning. You need to stop lying. Now! I want to hear you say it. Say what? You killed my mom. You trapped her in that basement, and you're the reason she died. Say it, or you're gonna die too! One Life to Live will continue in a moment here on ABC.